All right, what's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hagshot and thank you for joining us. Today I have a brand new Tolster holster to bring to the table and show you all of the features. And in the five years that we've been working with Tolster, uh, they've never released a brand new model like this. Um, totally different from the Profile holster that thousands and thousands of you guys have bought from them. And it's it's just amazing, man, that the, the company has done amazing things over these past five years. And one thing about them is they're not going to come out with something, you know, people will ask and ask and ask. And I know sometimes it seems like they may move a little bit slower, but they're going to perfect what they come out with before they actually release it. Um, so that's one thing I definitely can appreciate about them and what they do. So uh, so big thanks to them for sending these out and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So they have 10 models basically coming to the table. You have your Shields, your, uh, your P320 Compact, Carry and X-Series models, the P365, the P365 XL, the SAS P365 with or without a safety, uh, Hellcat, Glock 19, and then all subsequent models in that size. So you have your 19X, your 23, 25, 32, 44, 45. And then you also have the Glock 26, 27, 28, and 33. And then the Glock 43 and 43X, HK VP9 SK. Uh, anything else? Yeah, the XDS 3.3 inch barrel version, 9, 40, and 45. And then your Hellcat, okay? So it's called the Oath. So this is the optics ready, ambidextrous, tuckable holster. How many people have asked me for a tuckable version of a tolster? I cannot even count them, but what I can tell you is now we have one to go to. So if that's all you've been waiting on, you're like, dude, I'm sold. I already like Tolster, whatever the case may be. Yes, our discount code still works with these guys for the new holsters and all the previous ones too. So HEG 87, 15% off. I'll leave a link down below and make it super easy for everybody. But if you want to see the features as well, I hope that you'll stick with us and uh, check this thing out. So this is what the oath is. Um, let's talk about the uh, centerpiece here. So this clip is way different than the profile clip. So basically what you have is the mod for you clip. It has extreme high clamping force. It's basically a super strength steel uh, with a non-slip underhook here. So you can see, and of course we'll take some up close pictures for y'all, but, but the clip is very, very strong, okay? And what it has, it actually has a built-in progressive strain relief. So if it it's under too much tension, it'll still hold and also it will just can gradually bend um, so it doesn't break on you, man. It's like super high strength. You'll have to give it a couple of times whenever you first start wearing one of these because this clip is super strong and you can see that underhook is, uh, it, it holds on your belt, man. Way better than the profile holster. Although the profile holster actually is easier to put on. Uh, once you get the, the hang of this, you're gonna be like, dude, this thing is solid. Um, you have a half inch ride height adjustability here. So simply by, and all the guns have been safety checked too, by the way, but just by simply loosening the hardware just a bit, you can adjust this a half inch up or down, just depending on what you, you know, how high or low you want this to ride. And then also the claw device that holds the, uh, the mod for you clip and the mod wing has a little bit of adjustability there too. So you can see how you can kind of set this in place. If you want this to be a little bit more fore or aft, it, it just depends on how you want to rock it, man. But that's that's going to be totally up to you. You can do that if you would like. There's, there's all kinds of adjustability. Now it's also ambidextrous. So straight from the factory, all you have to do is remove all of this hardware here, which is these two screws and flip everything to this side of the holster. Now you have a left-handed model as well. So if you are a left-handed shooter, obviously, or if you're a right-handed shooter and you wanna practice your left-hand draws, you can do that all from this one clip. Of course, everything made in the USA, stainless steel clips and all of that good stuff. They started using these mod wings on the profile holsters, but it was actually a, a strong adhesive that you would have to put on there. Now, of course, you have the stainless steel hardware and it comes with the 3 8 inch medium size uh, straight from the factory, or you can put the half inch larger attachment and that's basically gonna draw this holster in closer to your body. 
You can tell they went with the minimal style on this one as well. So your corners and stuff that don't need to be there. Um, they, they've kept this thing as minimal as possible um, while giving you all the benefits that you need. All your retention is here in the trigger guard, mid sweat shield, high sight relief there. Um, so if you have any kind of aftermarket sights, you can of course use that. And it's open-ended down here too. So if you have a threaded barrel or anything like that, well, there you go. You can actually use that with this holster. One other cool feature is that now you can use an optic on your carry gun with a tolster holster. So you can see how they, they cut out the relief here to allow for that. So uh, pretty much most RMRs and things like that, all your most common ones uh, are going to work. And this is what a lot of guns are going to, especially carry guns and things like that. Um, it's just nice to have that option now. The Romeo Zero that's on the P365, of course. Um, this was a good decision because, again, hey, I, I, the more I think about it, the more I start to get sold on the idea of having an optic on my carry gun. It's just one more way um, that, that you could protect yourself potentially. So I, I definitely don't see anything um, against that. I think it's a good move on their part because, again, that's what everything is going to undercut under the trigger guard so this allows you to get a full grip right from the get-go okay so you don't have to fumble around with it or anything like that um, you can see while it's in your pants or whatever i can already get a full grip and then i have my magazine release so this is a point of you know some people like this some people don't my thing is is that i can load around i can chamber the gun so it's safe and then i can release my mag top off that round put it back in and then i'm good to go now, one extra benefit that I really appreciate with this, so here's the P365, you can tell from the lint and everything, this is the one I've mainly been carrying uh, with this setup. So if I need to do a reload, for whatever reason, can't use my support hand. Well, now with the way they have this holster and the um, the mid sweat shield, it makes it easier to do this. I can load in my, my magazine. I can rack that round while it's already holstered and the gun's safe the entire time. So that's a pretty cool little feature that I thought um, could be useful. Um, maybe it could be useful, maybe not, but I thought it was pretty cool. And then also, you know, get that round out of there at the same time. So you can actually work the slide um, while it's holstered, if you ever needed to do that. Here's the HK VP9 SK. Now it does have fixed retention straight from the factory, but it, they have included shims. So if you want to change that retention to a lighter draw, then you can do that just by simply adding the shims into the holster there. But the retention straight from the factory, it has that positive snap. I personally really like the way it's already set up because it's nice and secure. And I ride my motorcycle, I commute a lot on my, on my bike. And um, having this and knowing that it's secure in place, I really enjoy that. Now, one thing you may be asking yourself if you don't know a lot about this, and that's fine. You can see how this one is kind of cut away there for that paddle release, this German design. Um, but the reason it doesn't look like the outside of the gun, like some some holsters you'll notice, they, they, they match the outside of the gun fully. Well, what these guys try to do is they try to keep the drag away from your firearm, and that keeps any kind of scratches and things at a minimal, but also they have the retention in the holster, which is where you want it. So it's super strong, and it allows you to get a positive snap back in place. So how do I like using this holster now? Let me show you with this Hellcat. Um, I, I like it, but at first I was not sure about it. Okay, I was getting some digging and stuff, so I contacted one of the guys at Tolster, told him what was going on, and this part was kind of digging into my upper, uh, the outside of my thigh a little bit. So they told me to remove the uh, mod wing there, which is what I did. Obviously, I've been carrying this one uh, the most. So basically that mod wing, what its design is, is to bring the grip in closer to your body. On this design though, I just did not care for it that much. So I took it off and since I've taken it off, it has cut down significantly on that digging. It's just a little bit different style and shape and I had to get used to it. But now that I've gotten used to it, knowing that I can tuck my shirt in behind this clip, which is such a nice feature because some of us are, you know, we have to go to work and we have to tuck in our shirts or you, you may be in a business where you have to tuck in your shirt seeing just this little clip, you know, I mean, most people aren't paying attention to your waistband anyway. So, um, this little clip right here, it's very inconspicuous. They didn't put, you know, 
anything crazy, which is obviously a good idea. It's just a clip there. So that is a really good thing for uh, for law-abiding concealed carriers in the United States of America. And one thing I've noticed is that because of the design and the way it still draws into your body really well, I mean, there is very minimal printing. This is what I'm showing you right now. It wasn't a ghost, by the way. That was my dog. It, it hugs your body so well. They did an amazing job on this. If you need ultra concealed carry, I mean, that the mod wing actually does a really great job. Like I said, I just had to get used to it without that. And um, I'm going to try it again, but tuckable clip, everything works as it should, man. This is a awesome product from Tolster, much needed in their lineup. And uh, hopefully a lot of you will, uh, will pick one up for your gun. Um, if they don't have your carry gun, I assume that if these things sell really well, they will continue to add models like they've been doing this whole time with the profile. Uh, but we will see. So if you want to buy one, 15% off uh, for yourself with the discount code HAG87, and I have a link down below and it supports our channel as well which is an awesome thing so let me know what you think it comes in the two colors that you see the black and the black carbon fiber so let me know what you think down in the comments below we'll see you in the next one and as always hold them down <laughs>